where do I go now? <laughs> now I can't even see him. This is so weird. He's just a, he's just <laughs> a voice in my ear. Grandpa, is that you? Nolan, it's me, <laughs> your grandfather. Thank you. Why do you talk like this? It's level four. We're back. Uh, Nolan North, uh, Drusephine J. Drusef, once again by my side. PJ's running around here hiding somewhere. Paul Both making it all sound good. And Stephanie, well, Stephanie Judge is just can't wait to get this material and edit it down so I don't lose my children. <laughs> We're back. It's level four, pal. Yeah, this man. is exciting, right? I, I, um, I'm super excited. Let's get to the topics and tangents because um, this became my favorite thing uh, in season three where you and I just... Uh, shoot the shit yeah. over some the weird happenings. Yeah, before we do topics and things real quick, I just want to talk about real quick how excited I am that Jack Quaid's going to be on this episode. Right? Uh, oh, oh, we're going to he's we're going to make him give a season 3 spoilers, right? You can we do that? Can he give away season 3 spoilers? You know what? Let, let me let me address this. It's a For good the boys. point. Jack Quaid, uh, dear friend, uh, great kid, uh, super talented actor. Um, He's uh, made the horrible mistake of agreeing to be on the show today where I am going to use all my journalistic skills uh, that I have. Uh, uh, I have, you know, a couple degrees in journalism. I was a journalist. I was a reporter for a year. And I'm going to, I'm just going to pull them all out of him um, the way an old-fashioned journalist does. Um, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to do a modern-day journalist and just lie. <laughs> So, uh, but we're gonna yeah we're gonna get season three spoilers. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig them out of them, or I swear to God above I will make shit up, and I will <laughs> you will believe it because I'll tweet about it. <clears throat> yeah, I can't wait. I, yeah, I'm a huge fan of the boys. I'm a huge fan of Star Trek Lower Decks too. That, I, that he's and you're in. Yeah, you I never mean, do, you never really noticed that. Yeah. Oh, I'm a huge fan of Star Trek Lower Decks. Oh yeah, he's great. Oh yeah, Nolan, you're in it too. Yeah. Yes, several episodes, just because I'm not in every one. Right. Also starring our good friend Fred Tattashore. Yeah, who is, he's awesome. He's awesome, but he's always been awesome. That's true. Um, speaking of awesome, how about awesome, Hasselhoff? Uh, David Hasselhoff is in our Topics and Tangent news. Uh, I, and, you know, no, no year is really complete without a Hasselhoff story. It's true. Uh -huh. But you think this is my real hair. But by the way, that's the worst pickup line ever. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Bet you think this is my real hair. Never works. <laughs> uh, never works. Why? It, it's, Why it doesn't? <laughs> uh, David Hasselhoff is auctioning off the kit car uh, from Knight Rider. Um, I remember this like, like it was the 1980s. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan, but I remember watching it because yeah. we didn't have anything else to watch on it's TV true. when we were kids. It was that, Fantasy Island, uh, Love Boat, if you're with your grandparents. Mm -hmm. MacGyver. Uh, mm. Airwolf. MacGyver was pretty good. Okay, Airwolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently I'm wrong. Um, so, um, yes, the car is being auctioned off. It's funny that if you're a celebrity, it's called an auction. If you're a nobody, it's a yard sale. So <laughs> you guys put that together. <laughs> yeah. uh, of course, at the yard sale, I've never sold my toaster for, right now it's reached a high bit of $975,000. Um, again, just so you guys know, it is a customized Pontiac. Yeah, I mean. Firebird Trans Am. Pontiacs are not a million dollars. No. So. Anyway, um, and, and this isn't even the best part of the story. Uh, he's, he's <laughs> I, I like that this is, I'm reading this. The, the actor is also auctioning off a wide range of, <clears throat> quote, official merchandise. <laughs> official yeah, merchandise, including a Baywatch pinball machine and a 14-foot model of Hasselhoff's body That's the that was used in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. 700-pound David Hasselhoff replica with hair from a yak. Yeah, that, um, that's, that's the real, out of all of that, that's what I think is worth. You know some freak is going to get that <laughs> and just be like, what are you doing? I'm mounting a 14-foot Hoff tonight. <laughs> all hands on deck. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh. I got me a tub of Crisco at the Costco market, and I'm greasing up that ch muscly chest. <laughs> see what's under them britches. Yeah, under those red Baywatch shirts. Uh, what else do we have? Um, Lizzie Borden's house. Let's go completely different. Uh, the first original uh, psycho murderer, uh, Lizzie Borden, um, it's uh, it's actually in, in, in New England. It's in, uh, I believe, New Bedford, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. which is close to where I grew up. House is the site of the August 4th, 1892 hatchet murders of Andrew and Abby Borden, Lizzie's parents, Apparently they didn't uh, get to the 911 quick enough. Get me 911 642. <laughs> yeah, uh, the infamous double murder. And the funny thing is, I, I, I saw a special on this um, on the History Channel at one point. Uh, I think it was History Channel that they actually uh, had tours of the Lizzie Borden house, and people came from all over to see where yeah. where a little girl butchered her parents with a hatchet. <laughs> Messed up is that? So I guess now Lizzie Borden has her own doll. Yeah, we're a little overboard on the crazy eyes. It's currently, so it's, it's, it's a bed and breakfast. You could actually go there and it's sleep safe. there. Yeah. Why, I don't know, but some people, you know, Damn. some people look for Sasquatch. There is none. But they get TV shows and Taco Bell commercials. <laughs> okay. Bigfoot? My name is Daryl. Now it's, it's, it went on the market and um, I, it's, it's, what is it? For, it's like $2 million? Yeah. Who, I don't know who's buying that kind of thing. Richard McGonagall. Mm. <laughs> That's a great call. Richard's probably like, I put it a bid. <laughs> I, I've just always been a fan. I just, I'm going to use it as the Murder South Cottage. I'm up in Maine. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's funny, Drew. Drew kicking off the new year with some, some, some quality humor there. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, my God. Yeah. She was a long-lost niece. I bought her that hatchet. I am 200 years old. Okay, I don't Dude. even know what we're doing anymore, but that's Topics and Tangents. We've started our season with Hasselhoff and Lizzie McGonagall. I just, I, I just love the craziness that it's the so world well. gives me. Mm -hmm. mm, it's tasty. You know what? What? You're going to see some more crazy here in a minute. We're about to play a game that's going to make you crazy. What are we playing? Left for Dead 2 on the Xbox 360. Okay, so our our guest today, uh, my buddy Jack Quaid, he, I said, uh, any game in particular? And he didn't even hesitate. He said, have you played Left 4 Dead? I said, no. He goes, Left 4 Dead 2? I said, well, if I haven't played Left 4 Dead, I probably haven't played 2. I'm very kind of... Anyway, he said, don't miss this one. So um, let's do it. I'm kind of ready. I want to see. I, I, I did a little gaming over the hiatus. Maybe my skills have, have come around. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Although, didn't you say this is Xbox? Yeah. Only? Yeah, Xbox only. So I'm going to have to... New controller. You New learn. controller. Yeah. Great. Mm. This is going to be fun. This <laughs> is going to be business as usual. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so we've got a little uh, Left for Dead 2. Uh, Drew, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if this is uh, if this is good because I've, I've never played Left 4 Dead one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it needs. I don't necessarily think you need the prerequisite. Uh, I, this is I, you're going to jump right into it. It's going to be great. So yeah, is that left trigger is like your melee attack? So if you see a zombie get close, do a little melee. It'll push him back. It'll knock him back. And the melee is that like a melee? Yeah, melee. Yeah, melee melee. Is it the same thing? It's French. Where are they? Reloading. Where are they? They're the blue ones. See the, with uh, the, the blue ones are, are my friends, right? Yeah, yeah. Blue, blue is friendly. They're shooting at people, and I can't see. Oh, be careful! Yeah. Bitch. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna go up to my friends. Grabbing some frag rounds. Yeah, Grasma. How do I get? How do I pick up stuff? Uh, talk to me. <laughs> I forget now. It's, it's uh, like second nature. What? Uh, try, uh, try X. That's a light. Or Y, maybe to select weapon. What? What is that? I don't know where that is. Uh, y is the the orange button. What is it? What does that mean? It says, look at that melee weapon. Yeah, so you can use it to like fight. Oh my God, I'm alone. Oh, I'm screwed. I gotta get the hell out of here. What is that? I want that. I think that's ammo. I need to get running. <laughs> See, get second pistol. What is that? Is that? I think you just uh, catch up to your friends. Look. I think you're good. You're good for a while. Run. Because you already have a secondary. How does he run? Doesn't he? Over doesn't... there. Uh, run. Look. <laughs> 
Oh, there it is. I, I, I think I hit. God, I, I'm so I think bad. I was crouched. I'm so bad at remember Xbox controls. Uh, oh. I, I'm so scared of my, any of my friends. Oh, that's my friend. Yeah. Sorry, shot oh, me in the face. Shot that person in the face. Yeah, I like her. <laughs> there you go. Now shoot him. No, don't reload. Shoot. Oh no, he's gonna get you. Oh, your friend just saved you. Yeah. Well, I like it's good friends. Friends are good to have. Get up the house. What's crazy? Uh, I don't know how to pick things up. I want a Molotov. I want X. X. Okay. Reload. Now you can use your D-pad to like select that weapon and use it. My D-pad. Yeah. Like all to the oh, shit. So left and right on the D-pad will switch to like your your Molotov. Like I think if it's uh, left on the D-pad, we'll switch to the Molotov. Oh. You're dead, and your teammates can still escape. Oh. So are these actual people I'm playing with? Yeah. So they're like that guy sucks. Pretty much. So oh, so I'm. Why did you not just put me? In, why am I? I'm, now I'm embarrassed. Why? Because I'm playing it, it, with people that. I think this that, has to be. A, this is. A, it's like a multiplayer game. It has to be. I, or or co-op. I think. Um, oh, for God's sakes! This is just awful. There you are. You're back. Oh yeah. Get a melee weapon. Watch the toxic slug acid stuff. By the way, that's that's Fred Tattersall. Got him. <laughs> think welcome. Like something out of Resident Evil. You're welcome, guys. Reloading. They're like, get away from that guy. He keeps shooting us. This is amazing. Sorry. This game was originally banned in Australia. Look, they're all running away from me, Drew. The toughest, like, like, the country with like the toughest people, right? Is like, like, nah. This game's a little too violent for us. Ah, bushes, bushes are hurting. What is that? Oh yeah, throw that. Ah. Scared me. The witch injured you. Don't start her all next time. Are you down? Oh, you are just getting... It is not a good day for you. That chick just is tearing into you. That was gnarly. Get your ass up. I like that. I'm trying, man. How do I get back to my other... Ugh. Oh yeah, can, uh, I think, do you have healing? Try healing with, um, I forget the buttons again. Uh, the D-pad right. You guys aren't so damn oh, you don't have a healing kit. Oh look, I think I did it. We're safe for now. Wow, dude. Okay, not bad. I mean, I'm figuring it out, you know? Yeah. You were into it though, I could tell. Have you ever think you weren't maybe, saying a word, there was like a, a period there, I don't think you said a single I, word. I, I feel like. I don't know if you were breathing. But that's why I have you here. Here's the problem. I think we should call the whole game playing segment of this show figuring it out. <laughs> Just even if it's a game I play, I've played a hundred times, which yeah. there isn't. That doesn't exist. Yeah. It should just be called figuring it out. Oh yeah. Hey, you're doing your much better with this rifle. Did you just figure out? Ah, sorry, dude. I'm being healed. That works. Nice, dude. That guy is. See, you have. They're friendly people. These are good people. They're like, hey. Like, they understand the need for teammate. Oh, yeah. Axe. Axe. Oh, that guy was chopped in half. Yeah, well, that's how I roll. But I'm going to tell you. Uh, yep. How's you your have face? no arm. Yeah, take face. that, Shed. I wanted to get up there. Oh, where's no your, leg. Where, where's your you leg? You don't need legs. Uh, uh oh, I would, that I would looks not, like something that's... I would not get close quarters with the, the, the mega, mega zombie. Yeah. 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 Where is he? He's down there. Help coach. Run. Uh, he's gonna throw... Oh. That guy just threw uh, a giant mound of dirt and... No. Pistol is not gonna cut it in this situation. Everybody is... Uh, wow, that was quick. Yeah. Mmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go over and get some shit. I need some shit. Yep, I got that in an axe. What's over this? Being healed. Yes. Oh, now it's time to just start swinging shit. Weapons, where are you? Oh. This is not going well. 
Oh, it's like the whole horde decided to be like, you know what, that Nolan guy? Get him. Oh, that guy is big. I like the uh, that what got what made everybody zombies is the green flu. Shit, I need I need weapons. I need ammo. I feel like this would be a great game to like introduce like some famous like characters. Like I can could you imagine being like Freddy in the apocalypse right now? Like like you could play as uh Jason. Oh yeah. And you have like the giant machete and you just just a giant man mowing down Zombies. Over there. Ah, I just want to follow these guys and help them. They've helped me so much. Uh, take the health. Uh, uh, right on the D-pad. Right on the. Oh. Right on the D-pad. Yeah. Hold, Hold right trigger. Okay. Uh, if you want to kick uh, someone out, you could vote to kick them out. Right on the D-pad is Weapons yes, left here. is no. Uh, what is left? You kicked a guy out. They didn't kick me out? I know. <laughs> Dude, you look like Jason right now. This is what I'm talking about. Like, imagine if you were like a super-powered being like Jason. Oh, wait. Oh, and you had a machete. I feel like... Oh, my God. I went the wrong way. I went back the other way. I gotta go help these guys out. Let's see if we can get to the end. Come on. Uh, that's probably all it is. Ah, we're safe for now. This is exciting. This is like it gets a little uh, adrenaline fired up, doesn't it? Well, I mean, it, you could tell right away. It's like a co-op game, like great cooperative. Like get your friends, four of your buddies, like just destroying zombies. You know, maybe we should stop for now because I have so many questions about zombies, and maybe we should. Maybe can we play this game two weeks in a row? Is that possible? <laughs> we could. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I know somebody I'd like to call. Zombie so, tips. Yeah. Hotline. Yeah. Hotline Miami. Maybe we, let's stop here. Okay. And uh, and pick it up. Uh, I mean, you're going to leave your teammates behind. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jack Quay. What's up? Oh, Hello. Quay. Big round of applause. How are you, pal? I'm doing good, man. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Are you kidding me? This is, uh, you are a very special guest because you are the first guest oh. of the new season. Uh, we've talked about doing it before, but I thought, you know what? Let's save, let's let's kick the, the new level. Ooh, yeah. I didn't realize I was the premier guest. That's, I mean, I'm honored. Thank yes. you. Yes, yes. Well, you know, there's a lot of, now you got to, you know, dance like a monkey for me. I need, I need. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was the deal. You uh, texted me, sure. I just got off playing a little Left 4 Dead 2 for the first yes. time ever. Um, You've never played it. No. Xbox uh, controller is a little foreign to me, but um, we learned a couple things. The what did you, you learn? I learned the axe <laughs> is very useful uh, up close. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like a, a left push and then loose, you know, loosen some necks and some heads. Chop and chop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So left, right. Uh, and then uh, what else? Uh, you need a good team. <laughs> Apparently, because I need to be—I needed to be revived quite a bit. Yeah. Um, swamps at night, Terrifying. not a good place. Terrifying. Never. No. Never. Never a good place. It was fun, but I, I realized like I was the weakest link in the group, and then in one level, there's a place where they all start. You vote for to kick someone out, and they kicked somebody else out beside me. So I was like validated. <laughs> oh my god! There you go. I wasn't there the you shittiest. You were not. You were not asked to leave the island. In a race of that's, four, that's... I finished third, and I'm proud of my bronze medal. <laughs> I'm proud of you, man. That's amazing. So you were playing with real people, but they were strangers. I, I, what was I in it? Like 15 minutes, I went, are these other people real? And he's like, yeah, that's the tag. I'm like, oh. And all of a sudden, I got really self-conscious. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> like, oh, no. What will like they... These people somewhere in the world are playing this game going, <laughs> this asshole keeps shooting me. And I'm like, uh, sorry. Again, it sprays a little. There's a little kickback on the, that AK. Uh, animation, speaking of animation, uh, you and I have a little bit to celebrate together. 
Yes, Star do. Trek Lower Decks, now where you are one of the lead characters. Boimler's back, baby. It's time to kiss some visiting butt. Wait, I'm still all phasey. Yeah. Uh, he has, you know, lots of great stuff. Starring Jack Quaid, let's say. But I get to be all the other guys, which is one of my favorite things because it's never the same. Uh, and yeah. we have had a number of scenes together, but we didn't mm -hmm. know it because we report record separately. Yeah, no, I think you 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 told me you told me like yeah, I just went in for this Star Trek Lower Deck show. Um, I played some guy that was simultaneously aging and de aging at the same time, and I'm like, I just recorded my dialogue with that character, yeah. and then I watched that episode, and that is one of the funniest things. <laughs> I've ever seen just where you you oscillate between young and old, and uh, yeah, it was during like the, the mutiny episode where yeah. my character Boimler gets put on this um, very mysterious like medical ship um, where they kind of ship out all these people who have been affected by various you know Star yeah. Trekky illnesses or or accidents, and they're <laughs> taking them to the farm, and uh, you know all the freaks on the ship who are like you know like you got into whatever accident that no, it was, was like an old man guy. and a little boy went through a teleporter and came out the other end joined together so it's a little old man who as he talks to boimler will all of a sudden get really young and say hey we have to go on the, to the ship because we got really sick one time and then everybody we watched just sort of died and it just That's goes amazing. back and forth and I, when I, you know, I never auditioned. They call me in to do something. They say, well, we think we'll do some old and young. We might mix it. I'm like, well, why don't I do it like that? Like what? And I did that and they went, yeah, do that. Affected by an alien horse bite, doomed to live out his days as half a rascal. <laughs> yeah, do that. And, and, it, and it worked. And then, you know, it's, I, uh, I know in the second, uh, I know we, we just started season two. I guess we can. Yeah, we got, we got picked up, and we and and you told me tell me tell everybody the news that you just told me. Yes, uh, as of today, when we're recording this, January twenty second, um, Star Trek Lower Decks is now available in the international territories. So, like for some reason, it wasn't before. People were mad, but uh, it is now available in, in the UK and, and and Japan and yep. a bunch of other places. So go out and check it out if you haven't already. Um, it's a great show. And, yes. and Nolan's in it. And, Star uh, Trek incredible. Lower Decks, uh, Jack Quaid. Uh, I, I've done, uh, I, don't, I don't even know how many episodes. I've done a, a bunch of them. And, You've done and, so many. And, and it's, it's, it's so much fun. And it literally just is, uh, it's exactly what the title is. If, if it's like, while the, the, the big stars of Star Trek are saving the galaxy, everyone down underneath making this ship work who's just like, you know, can you can believe this space meatloaf again. You believe that? <laughs> I mean, seriously, do, do they not? Do they think we don't have a palate? It's like, well, the Klingons it's like. It's like, well, why are we making meatloaf for the Klingons? It's like everything, all the mundane shit that goes on below the decks uh, on the yeah. Enterprise. It's just, and it's, in, and in that world, it's great. Ready for this great segue? You work on another little show that I happen to be a huge fan of, and this is the thing we need to talk about today. Um, okay, yes. You work with uh, Carl Urban who I, yes, I, I have had the pleasure of meeting and having dinner with uh, a, a couple times. Uh, super guy. He obviously uh, did an amazing job as Dr. McCoy in the updated Star yeah. Trek movies. Uh, for God's sakes, Jim, I'm just a doctor. Would I want to do that? Can you or can you not? Damn it, man, I'm a doctor, not a torpedo technician. He's, he's <laughs> fantastic. But the boys. <laughs> Holy fuck no secret you're in toronto that's where the show is shot uh i have yeah. seen all of season one i've started season two drew already spoiled something and we're going to spoil it today about the, the amazing flexible rubber penis that strangles people Was that? Uh, i haven't seen yes. that part but i i can't wait to get to it this show is off its nut and i love it mm -hmm. Today, um, you're going to tell us all about uh, season three because um, this is what we're doing. So, uh, where do you want to start? <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I can't really say too much because they. Uh, no, no, you can. Just. No, this is. Not really. No, this is. No, no. Uh, we're taping this. We'll just air it after. We'll air it after uh, the, the the stuff that you tell us airs. Like 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 uh, Carl Urban's. Uh, I hear he loses a foot in like episode that's two. Not, I mean, I, I haven't, I can neither confirm 
nor deny. He said it. Uh, okay, so that, so that is a possibility because I heard that. I, I read about that. I, yeah. I wrote it down in my office and I read it back they, to myself. They rename him Stumpy, I think. Yeah, right? Stumpy, or, or he actually, I think they, he gets one of those. They name him Stumpy. Yeah, no, I think what happens is they, <laughs> they, uh, they, they, they his, he's got one of those feet. Remember the the the, the girl in um, Kingsman Two? The Kingsman. Yeah. The girl. Oh, remember the girl with the the blade oh, legs? Oh yeah. That Carl Urban gets a blade leg. Blade leg. That it's like be... a laser. Okay, I, we're just. I'm just. Wanna, I just want to put this out there, just so I'm not in like I don't know, in breach of anything or whatever. Like I, I can neither say that that does happen or that doesn't happen on right. the show. Mm. You know, because you know we're, we're up here. Uh, we're about to start filming, and you know it's kind of um, everything's just really under wraps. You know, I can't really give out any details. So and the mummy kind of under the wraps. Right? So there's you know? a. So like, you're saying you there's. Find out about. Blade legs later. So 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 you say it's under wraps. So you're saying it's like the next superhero is the mummy, some type of a mummy not, Egyptian no, warlord princess with a with a lightsaber. Mark Hamill is in it. Mark Hamill in I season can, three, confirmed by Jack. I, that's awesome. I, I call Mark. I love Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Have you gotten to work with him? I can tell you this. I can tell you this because it's been announced. Um, Jensen Knuckles is in the show. I know. I read for that part. He's playing. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm kidding? It's in the the scenes in a diner. I, I'm not kidding. You watch. Don't spoil the di that whole diner thing is so essential to the. By the way, the, the greatest that whole diner arc is so. Oh, I shouldn't even be saying this, man. No. You had to oh, say so you say? Wait, so you're saying there's a diner? There might be I'm a diner. Not saying... See, well, here's the great thing. I just made that up, um, or did I? <laughs> Actually, I didn't. It's a. I don't know. Is it a diner? I, you know, a lot of times the audition material they send is just. Uh, it, it has nothing to do with the, the show. In fact, I just did another audition that I didn't get. Um, <laughs> that actually, 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 they put a pin in me. So actually, that's interesting. Uh, pins are good. Pins are good. Pins are very so good. They, they like that. Um, but it. I, they even say that this. None of this is in uh, any show. They actually will just write stuff that is fits the character but has nothing to do with the plot because people spoil yeah. stuff like Jack just spoiled about the leg and uh, Mark Hamill. I'm very excited about Mark working with you. Uh, anyway. Okay, look, um, I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. There's no there's no diner. There might be a deli. <laughs> well, that's pretty, you know, so that, okay, that's, I'm going to say, I'm going to call but it. But I know what I'm you gonna mean I'm going to call about shenanigans the... because there's diners or delis or restaurants and everything, so that doesn't work. But I'm going to send you my Correct. audition tape because I, I mean, if I had been on, you know, Supernatural for 36 years like he was, um, I, I I probably would have been up for the part. Buddy, um, I know you uh, you have uh, your COVID test. Uh, I'm sure it's uh, negative coming up. We'll let you go. Yeah. Um, th thank you thank for, you for uh, having me. Hey, listen, the, the, uh, the we're, we're going to be looking out for Carl Urban's uh, uh, missing foot, uh, Mark Hamill. Yep. I'm super excited about that. And, sure. And, um, you know, my my role upcoming, um, should we, I, I, do you want to tell them, I mean, I I did finally get a role in The Boys. I'm a, uh, I, in my superhero, and... <laughs> Can neither confirm or deny. I mean, I'm denying. I, I don't think I, I haven't seen it in the the scripts or anything yet. But here's but, the deal. Uh, I, I found I found some email addresses of the producers. I want to pitch them. Me you coming found on the show. Some email addresses. Yeah, I got it. Don't worry about it. Sure. So I'm dropping your name, by the way. I hope you're cool with that. And tell Carl no. I dropped his name as well. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm he won't be cool to, with it. I'm going to be a superhero. What? Uh, but I need to pitch him. What? What? We're trying to come up with an idea of like what superhero power. Would I would I would I promote? Let's let's spitball, Drew. You can be part of this. Tell me, what kind of hero um, power? What could I? I mean, let's and let's not do anything I like oh, it, we can voice uh, the people around. No. Oh man, that was my thing. That yeah. was gonna be my thing. Was it? Well, here's here's. Oh wait wait that wait was wait wait. You think if they go for it, I'm good with it. Go ahead, hit me. But my suggestion would be because this is a real superpower that you have, and yes, voiceover, but specifically you're Christopher Walken. I was telling a friend recently that you do the i think the best one because mm -hmm. of they actually do pay you to do they have, some they have ADR for you. they have done that jack several times in fact soon they may pay me more keep your eyes out folks
Christopher Walken's coming soon. There you go. What television exactly. are you? So I'm thinking maybe, you know, we have a we have a we have a character on the show called Doppelganger who can kind of transform into Ooh. into anyone. Or the mimic. Uh, the kind of mi- like doppelg- oh, a doppelganger's better. The mimic is kind of doppelganger. I like the mimic. The mimic could work. And then um, Carl Urban has to come in and take down the doppelganger. <laughs> be perfect. I mean, there's already a guy in our show named Doppelganger, but you oh, could shit. be like... that's right. No, then the mimic. You could be the vocal equivalent, but, or, you know, if we really need a good Christopher Walken impression within the boys team, I think we could probably oh, have you. Oh, no, um, if that ever happened. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. What, oh. what, what if, like, you had, like, the mocap guy, right? Like, you, you it, while you wear the mocap suit, you could, like... like become anything. Yeah. You can, like, yeah. We but you actually, you don't actually change. You're still in the mocap suit, but you just voice like your voice changes like weirdly. What if I? Yeah, work you actually at a, don't if, have a superpower, but you think you do. What if I work at a grocery <laughs> store and they call me just the, as good? Uh, yeah, a grocery store worker and they call me the butcher. <laughs> mm. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Because because they don't. Yeah. Ha- I don't think there would be a problem with that. No. You don't think there's there's like nobody. You don't no. Think, yeah. I mean, no there, conflicts there is, at all. There is. No. There's no conflicts, right? Right. No. What if I'm like Huey Butcher? They call me. That's a cool name. Yes, that works for me. <laughs> Won't be confusing at all. No, you know. Yeah. No, no. Um, can't no. wait. Season three sounds amazing. What? what? With okay. the power of, <laughs> with the power of uh, being, you you work at an electronics store and <laughs> you're an actual butcher at a grocery store. You know what? What you know? We, we call him Cancel Man because I think my involvement in season three <laughs> could assure that there would be no season four pickup. <laughs> Cancel. I'm in as long as we pronounce it Cancelman. Cancel. Yes. Hello, I'm Simon Cancelman. <laughs> there you go. And uh, come browse my showroom. Look at all these gorgeous leather coats. <laughs> why did we boys season three? Why did they cut to that guy? I don't know. Why did they keep cutting to Simon Cancelman? He has nothing to do with the rest of the show. Yeah, it's like, do you need a leather coat him for your next black, superhero uh, event? Talking about his coats. Yeah, it's just like, I, I, I do it. It's like a bad uh, cable access going, Hi, I'm Simon Cancelman. Come, browse the showroom. We have all kinds of leather coats, black, yellow, and brown coats. Belts, too. You should come by and pick some up. See the beautiful merchandise we have. Only at Cancelman's Leather Coats. Yeah, there you go. Come. The swallow midway through makes it. For sure. I'll, I'm going to pitch this, and I want you I to be in like a white blank. Slash, slash, slashing prices. <laughs> and I want show. you to have like a white background and have absolutely, like all you're doing is talking about the coats, but we never see the coats. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> There's like We never uh, see them. You're gesturing off screen. They might be off they might be out of frame, they might not be. Yeah. That's the mystery. Nothing. That's what'll hook people people in. And then just in the background every now and then like a cow walks by. Like, what <laughs> yeah. the hell is going on there? Uh, it just and he looks just complete like he's like a normal guy and then they say action. He's like, uh he just goes pale. Yeah. So wait, within the show, hold on a second. Within the show, we see like a crew say like action. Like we, we, we not only see the TV spots, by the way, I'm all in on this. I'm, I'm pitching it to Kripke tomorrow. But um, <laughs> we not only see the ads, but we see how they're shot as well. And what happens in Simon Cancelman's <laughs> life. We will, we will, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this happen. Hapkin. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Simon Cancelman. So and uh, yes, so you talk to Kripke. I'm going to spoil season three. And um, I love you, pal. Uh, we'll see you on the lower decks or, or, or at, a, at a theater near you. I don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah, yeah. At a I'm not very good at signing off. Out. Bye. And, um, <laughs> everybody uh, keep an eye out for the Simon Cancelman spinoff coming uh, 2026. It, 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 okay. You think that's that much... Development? Okay. You need to develop, you need to write it. I'm going to try, I'm gonna you trust to a, lot of, a lot of CG. I'm going to try know? a lot of CG. Yeah, yeah, a lot of CG. A lot of CG in Simon Cancelman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and to, to make it truthful, I will have to convert to Judaism to make it, you know, authentic. <laughs> right. uh, which, I, I, which I'm cool with. No, no, no problem. Yeah. yeah. If they can, um, cool. they just need to find a yarmulke big enough to fit my head. <laughs> it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I know. It's like a felt sewer cap. Anyway. 
Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, best of luck. Um, and we're, we'll be Thank watching. You, sir. Talking soon. Yeah, man. Bye, Thanks buddy. for having me on. Take care. See you, dude. Retro Feud, I'm your host, Nolan North. And today uh, we have Candace and Amelia. Uh, how are you both doing today? Candace, how's everything? Everything is absolutely wonderful. Fantastic. So, and and tell and tell all the all the folks at home where, where are you from and what do you do? I'm from Ypsilanti, Michigan, and I'm a gamer. And I also schedule appointments for doctors. Very nice, very nice. I will be setting up my colonoscopy very soon. Amelia, hi. tell us. Hi, hello, and how are you? Love the background. Very colorful. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, and and where, where are you joining us from, Amelia? The lovely Wales in the UK. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, you know, I'm Welsh. I think I've said this I to know. everybody who's from Wales. I um, so I, 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 I like that. I've never been there. I was supposed to do the Wales Comic Con last year. And, of course... Everything got canceled, but in the future, one day, I'll get there because um, it's so beautiful. Okay, so um, we're going to start the show. Um, we're going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to think of a number. We're going to pick who goes, who gets the choice to go first or second. So whoever's closest without going over, I'm going to pick a number between 1 and 20. I got it. Uh, Candace, pick a number. Let's do 13. Three. The number was 11. Amelia, you did not go over, so you get to choose. Would you like to go first or second? I think I want to go first. You want to go first? Okay. There. Ooh, okay. Okay. Interesting strategy. Uh, I like it. It is bold choice. And um, let's get into it. Let's play the feud. <laughs> I just like saying that. There's nobody over there, by the way. I just... First question. Name a common New Year's resolution. Lose weight. Name a place where you're not allowed to touch anything. A museum. Name a type of seafood. Sushi. Name a place where you shouldn't fall asleep. In class. Finally, name something made of wool. A sweater. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, a new season, a new level, and we still don't have... A real bell. Uh, okay, let's go over it. Pagan, um, uh, you'll be handling all the scores for me. Amelia, name a common New Year's resolution. You said lose weight. Uh, number one answer, increase fitness, exercise, but lose weight for 10 points. Yes. Uh, it. <laughs> although it's weird because increase fitness would do that unless you're just unless you're just packing on like super few. I just want I just want to get some of that weight gainer 6,000 and just and just pump iron. True. So 10 points to name a place where you're not allowed to touch anything. You mm -hmm. said museum. Number one answer, museum, 35 points. Oh. Name a type of seafood. You said sushi. Uh, number one answer, prawn sushi. <laughs> that's a, that's a oh, goose seafood. egg. I know. It, it, it is a seafood, but apparently prawns, mussels, lobster, crabs, know. clams. I mean, all of that is technically sushi. So right. it's a little. Yeah. Um, I've been wrong. Okay. It's true. Uh, it is. <laughs> Name a place where you shouldn't fall asleep. You said class for uh, 20 points. 20 points, I'll class. Number it. number one uh, answer was at work, but class. We need 20 points for that one. And finally, name something made of wool. Number one answer, a jumper. I'm surprised you didn't say a jumper. jumper. I know. A sweater. The thing is, I hang you out with sweater. so many American people. I said sweater. Yeah. Sweater. Thirty-five points for sweater or jumper. Carmen. Oh, I remember the first time uh, nice Graham one. McTavish was staying in my house. He goes, "Excuse me, mate. I've, I've got to go put on a jumper." And jumpers were always for like toddlers. That's that's what we used to call like them. A like jumper. A yeah. Jumper. Mm -hmm. So and I and he and he came out in one of those, not a sweater. It was weird. Pagan, uh, give me the number. Amelia has how many points? One hundred points. One hundred even. I'll take it. Yeah. Woo! On the dot. All right, Candace. Woo! On the nose. Here we go. Get your thinking cap on. Are you ready? Here I'm we ready. go. First question. Name something people have started doing more since quarantine. Uh, self projects. Name a popular winter sport. Skiing. 
Name something you always have to keep plugged in. Keep it clean. Your cell phone. <laughs> How long does a typical New Year's resolution last? One month. And finally, name an annoying thing other drivers do on the road. Don't use their blinker. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, thank you. Circle gets the square. No, that's a different game. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, okay, okay. You, know, you have to beat 100 points. Here we go. Name something people have started doing more since quarantine. You said self-projects. <laughs> wow, starting off with a zero. A number one answer, watching TV. Number two, I can't believe you, playing video games. Playing video games. Baking. I mean, I've seen, yeah. Uh, no. a, a, a six people said binge eating. Yeah, that, and that would I'm, be number I'm one, one of for those. Me. I'm one of those. Yeah. 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 I'm just like, well, there used to be a pan of brownies, and now they're gone. <laughs> Weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, you started that not good. So now you got four, four point, four questions to get to the hundred. Uh, name a popular winter sport. Uh, you said skiing. Show me skiing. Thirty-five points. Number one answer. Thirty-five points. Uh, name something you always keep plugged in. You said cell phone. No, number one answer, TV. Phone is the uh, uh, number two answer. 26 points. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. How long does a typical New Year's resolution last? You said one month. Show me one month. Number one answer, 41 <laughs> points. My goodness. Uh, just wow. amazing. Finally, uh, last question. Name an annoying thing other drivers do on the road, uh, you kept it clean. Because my number one answer is, that's yeah. not, not fit for prime time. Uh, you said, not using your turn signals. Number one answer, 28 points. Uh, oh. For a whopping total of, uh, uh, out of pretty much four, because you started the goose egg, of how many, Pagan? 130 points. 130 Woo! points. Candace <laughs> with the win today. Well done, Candace. Uh, Good job, Candace. You uh, will get a, a, a uh, expect a big package of um, packing foam, uh, like peanuts, packing peanuts. Uh, so in case, like you, in case you ever have to ship something. Yeah, I do it all the time. Sorry. It won't be from us. I'll send them right back. <laughs> but uh, we, we sure uh, do appreciate you guys playing uh, and joining us here on uh, the new level, new season of Ooh. Retro Replay. You are our first uh, replayers, and we, we love you. We appreciate you guys so much. Um, say hi to Aaron for me! And uh, teach me how to do that. It's uh, I can't, I'm not good at that. I, mine always looks like a <laughs> tomato. <laughs> I just Close enough. Uh, yeah, terrible. close enough. I love you guys. Thank you for joining us. Pagan, um, send them that box of, of packing peanuts to our winner. Yeah, whatever's uh, in my trash can, you'll be getting. Okay. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take Pagan's garbage. Well, by awesome. God, that oh. is some good, high quality Irish, Irish garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, it's exotic. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, we appreciate it. And we will see you next time on Retro Feud. We out of here. Bye, everybody. Okay, time for our uh, photos on the bar. As always, um, we have our, 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 our own replayers right behind me. Uh, first up, Johnny N., uh, one of the big winners in Australia. Uh, he actually got through the game we were playing there uh, a couple of years ago. Johnny N. is up there. Uh, next up, Sonia Zetaffer. Um, and this is, this is such cool. This is their own artwork. Uh, and that's uh, Megan, Maverick Werewolf, on the left. And on the right is Sonia. Uh, and finally, Anna Peterson, wearing the mask, being safe and responsible and staying COVID-free, we hope, right? Yeah. Uh, Anna, uh, that's it. Those are our, our, our replayers and our photos on the bar. That's so awesome. Now it's time for our uh, our shout-outs, yeah? Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, member shout-outs at the Get Good level, Air Gato, Tom D., Rebecca Hillary, and Jefferson Owl, Hoot, um, then at the Drew's Soup level, we have uh, Benjamin Urch, uh, Malik Ramsey, and of course at the Altered Beast level, Rainbow Dash, Matthew Snyder, and Melanie Steiner, Marty Deeks. Uh, thank you. This is your member shout out. 
<laughs> See, that's in pitch. This is the shout out. I, I just never gets old. <laughs> never gets old. <laughs> hey guys, remember, if you want your photo on the bar, or if you want to be part of the shout outs, all you have to do is join. Become a replayer and subscribe. There's, there's different tiers for everybody to join. Uh, we do some, uh, Drew, tell them, we do some, some live uh, uh, events where we, we sit down and we just shoot the breeze with each other. Uh, live, uh, Zoom, of course. Um, we, you're going to get discounts on merchandise from our store. Um, you're, you're, you're part of the replayers for good, you know? Uh, we have the Get Good Level, Drew Soup Lever, Altered Beast. Uh, everything comes with its own perks, and, and just check it out below and uh, join us. Yeah. Come on down. Uh, it, it's a good time, and, and we, just, we have such a great community. We want you part of it, and we want to see you on the bar. We want to give you that shout-out. We want to talk to you one-on-one. It's awesome. Uh, we can't thank you enough for the people who do support this show. Yes. The show wouldn't happen without that support, honestly. Uh, That's right. You know, for the things we have to, cameras, equipment, lights, editors, stuff like that. So it's 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 so awesome that we're able to do this, and we hope that you know we bring you the content that uh, you want to support. And That's right. And if you're not a subscriber and you're new to this channel right now, you have no idea who that was. That's Drew. <laughs> That's Drew. That's the voice that sits over to the right. He's... He's Drusephine J. Joseph, and and oh my, he just he just just he spits venom, as Eminem would say. <laughs> he spits venom. He spits well, knowledge, nuts. and you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna nuts. take it in. He's from Kentucky, yeah. so yeah. if you wanna send soap, you can do that too. <laughs> Join Retro Replay. <laughs>